Chicago is a city of green, a city that safeguards its precious environment. Welcome to Chicago at Play. The Burnham Centennial Prairie Restoration Project is underway, combining the art of implementation with the science of restoration to provide a flourishing habitat the city will enjoy for years to come. One of the goals of the Chicago Park District is to naturalize as many areas um, as we can and really increase the, um, the number of acres that we have and always um, improve the Natural Areas Program. So this project, the, uh, the planting at Burnham Park, is the largest uh, natural area planting that we have ever done. It's more than 30 acres, it's actually larger than the planting that we did at Norlandley Island. What the Park District wanted was a prairie area that was <clears throat> a little more aesthetically pleasing than some of the prairies that they've had in the past that were really grass dominated and didn't really have a lot of color. Restoration ecologists from V3 and Aramark were brought in to determine the effectiveness of different seeding methods on native community diversity. We started kind of thinking how to actually achieve that and the first thing we did was, well, we started looking at the seed mixes and a lot of the seed mixes that are available in, in the industry are very high in grasses and low in forbs. So you're basically seeding more of a grassland type community um, and that's really not what the Park District wanted. They wanted something that had more diverse wildflowers and they wanted to have color throughout the growing season. Some areas we seeded everything in the fall, and then we seeded everything in the spring, and then we actually did a dual seeding where some of the species that need to be fall seeded were seeded in the fall, and the species that need to be spring seeded were seeded in the spring. And we buried all of the seed versus burying some and did some surface seeding on some. So we wanted to kind of evaluate, are we actually going to see some different results using those different methods? Most people, when they look at this place, they don't really see the native plants. But when you look down the ground and, and search for these plants, we have already identified 19 species that we planted last year. This has never happened before. We have never had such a successful planting in terms of diversity or the number of species that we, native species that we have found. So we are very excited about the success of this project so far. In the first year, you're not really going to see much of prairie plants. Um, you will see some little tiny, some of the forbs will germinate and they'll be very small. You know, after the second year, you'll start to see more forbs and those species that germinated the first year will actually get bigger than the second year. Then really it takes probably three to five years that I like to say before you really start seeing a really good um, community of, of prairie plants. An important element for native plant growth is mycorrhizae, a fungus that provides nutrients to plants, wherein the plants supply carbon for the fungi to grow. One of the experiments that uh, DePaul is involved in is actually trying to see um, if uh, introducing the fungi into the soil with the seeding is helpful if the source of fungi is important. So Indiana University has, has created a mix of native fungi that they actually extracted from, from native prairie soils. So we're trying to compare whether there's a difference between commercial sources of mycorrhizae, these native sources of mycorrhizae, and actually not introducing any mycorrhizae at all. Will there be a difference in three to five years between the plantings? A grant from the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative will support the Burnham Centennial Prairie Research Study, which hopes to influence future restoration practices. We really want our plantings and our restorations to be as successful as they can be. Uh, we want them to be um, uh, of very high quality ecologically and we really want them to be very beautiful for the people who enjoy these areas. We understand that the more beautiful these areas are, the more opportunities we will have in the future to create projects like this. So we're very much hoping the outcome of this experiment and all this research is going to yield the results that will be very helpful in our decision making in the future.